Hello everyone, welcome to Alisa Gaming Time. So today we do have a lot more than last week to talk about today. Anyway, here's the intro. Firstly, a new roadmap has been updated and has been released on the Battlefront 2 website. Now, everything from the previous months and everything from the previous roadmaps that is coming is on the site. There are, but there are two things that we need to talk about. One is the new large scale game mode. Currently, it has no name. We don't know if it's going to be offline or online, and we don't really know much else about it. But what we do know is that there's actually a leak in the game files. Now this comes from the December update, suggesting that this new game mode could be named Titan. Now this could not be the official name, but it could be. So we'll see what happens with that. And then also on the roadmap for February, a new mode has been put there and that's the capital ships interior now from what it sounds like you're basically going in to like big capital ships and I guess I don't know fighting your way through there that's just a guess but remember you have seen this before remember the campaign resurrection here's a clip Some other things I want to mention about Battlefront 2 is that Galactic Assault Planet Rotation has had a couple of changes. So go to one of the links down below, it will take you to the current rotation that's at because it has been changing a lot since December 17th. And also there's a new survey for December for Battlefront 2. So if you've got some time, please go check it out. And then also, the year in review community transmission is officially released. Now, there's something new about this. It just talks about the past and it talks about the future and talks about what has been going good and going bad. So if you want to go and check that out, link down below. Now, with also on Battlefront 2's website, there are many new articles, but one of them that I want to talk about is the one with the interview with the voice actors of Count Dooku and also Anakin Skywalker. Now, there's many things about this I could talk about, but really, I just want to show you this so we can move on. My powers have doubled since the last time we met, Count. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Life is Strange 2 Episode 2 will be releasing on January 24th of 2019. Now, Dante have said that they are going to be working a bit more harder, but also episodes will be coming slower than Season 1. Reason being is because they're not working at the same pace for the previous season, so that's why episodes may take longer. Now my prediction for episode 3 to, for when it's coming out could be around March or April of next year and then also there are screenshots of episode 2 out now one of them featuring Chris and also his father from the amazing adventures of Captain Spear and then finally they released a live action trailer that premiered some of the shots from episode 2 and the release date and I'm going to show you that live action trailer now. 
has refused to comment on the unexplained deaths of a local resident and a police officer. Sources claim the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the officer's cause of death remains unknown. Marvel Spider-Man. So, it had a new update this week, it did. It also has been announced that a City Out War comic based on the Spider-Man game will be coming out, and this is based after the DLC of City Never Sleeps. Also, the game had another update before the Silver Lining, and that was the Sam Waymy suit from the Tommy Maguire Spider-Man films and it's also been confirmed that there will be no amazing Spider-Man suit set to come. Makes sense considering that this will be the final time that Insomniac will be making DLC for the game. Many people have been saying that maybe it won't be, maybe it will be. I personally think that when they say something once they usually keep to it because I'm assuming that Insomnia would love to go ahead and work on other stuff on whatever they want to do next but I do hope that they do do another Spider-Man game because a lot of things have still been left open and a lot of stuff still needs to be shut down like for instance what happened with Yuri or this war in this another country yeah my only complaint for Spider-Man get rid of Screwball Okay, so Fortnite. Now, ever since Creative came into the game, I've wanted to talk about it more. So, I realised that this game kind of has weekly updates. It does. How amazing is that? <laughs> now, on its newest update from the time of this recording, it added some new stuff for Creative. Now, if you're thinking that one of the things that we all want is that somehow to publish and share what we've made with the public as of the island sharing codes. These are the ones that you have seen, but it's in limited access and it looks like only Fortnite or basically Epic Games at this current moment can use them. Now, this new update brings out Christmas themed stuff, including Christmas islands or snow islands. I don't know if they're going to be there forever or not, but. Um, it is a pretty good update and I cannot wait to see what comes next for the Fortnite creative mode. Once they add the island sharing code, now man, have I got some stuff ready for you guys. Star Wars Force Arena, the mobile game that got released last year is shutting down. Now, the game was set to shut down on March 
of 2019. I will leave another video down below talking more about it, but Force Arena was a game that we did play on this channel. I honestly did enjoy it, but it's sad to hear about this. It was one of those good mobile games that was interesting to apart from Galaxies of Heroes. But let's just enjoy what we've got for the moment. The Walking Dead final season. Now, today we're talking about it because it is on the Epic Store at this current moment. Now, they've put up a little bit of a notice on Steam. From what I got from it, if you bought it on Steam, you're still going to get the normal access as usual. But on Epic Games, that's where they're definitely going to have the full season on there. So, yes. And they also released a video on the uh, Skybound YouTube channel basically talking about and answering questions that you have featuring the voice actor or Clementine. I'll leave that video link down below. Now, one tiny little update is that an Eddie's Gaming Time Christmas special will be coming hopefully sometime after this if I remember to film it. And then also I just want to recommend two Christmas video games you could be playing. So first of all, if you've got a Switch, then I suggest getting Super Mario Odyssey. At this current moment, they do have a Mario Christmas Santa suit, I guess. And also with a classic thing also. The game is really good and I do quite enjoy it for the Switch. And then also, if you're a big fan of Batman, you may or may not like this one, but you could try out Batman Arkham Origins. Right, that's it from me. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We are nearly there. It's nearly Christmas. It is. I'm a bit excited, but also a bit not. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. See ya.